Acid reflux is a, a phenomenon where um, gastric contents, essentially uh, fluid, gastric fluid, fluid in the stomach, that has a low pH washes up into the esophagus and it causes, often causes symptoms. It doesn't necessarily always cause symptoms, but can cause symptoms. Acid reflux can have symptoms that are related to chest pain. Uh, sometimes people will feel um, uh, or, or sense food contents washing up through their mouth. Often they'll wake up in the middle of the night or early in the morning with a sour brash taste in their mouth. So the symptoms are mainly those three. Acid reflux is the phenomenon where fluid contents of the stomach that are acidic in pH wash up into the esophagus. When that uh, phenomenon happens frequently and it causes, it causes irritation or inflammation of the esophagus, it then goes into uh, um, the phenomenon of gastroesophageal reflux disease. And that can manifest as inflammation of the esophagus, which can cause esophagitis. Sometimes it causes spasms of the esophagus, which can cause chest pain. Um, so there's definitely a distinction between acid reflux and gastroesophageal reflux disease. And the factors that can cause acid reflux are often uh, factors that we all are familiar with. Um, if you eat too frequently, if you eat big, heavy, fatty meals, you can cause acid reflux. If you eat late at night and then uh, lie down in the bed, you can cause acid reflux. Um, a lot of the things that we enjoy in New Orleans will do that. Uh, alcohol, if people are drinking too much, will lower the uh, sphincter tone or the muscle tone of the esophagus and allow acid reflux to happen. Smoking can cause uh, acid reflux. And again, high uh, fatty meals can also cause acid reflux. We try to treat reflux mainly with uh, first lifestyle modifications. If you eat heavily, we try to ask you to back down. Maybe try small frequent meals throughout the day rather than three heavy meals. Try to avoid eating before you go to bed at least an hour. If you're a smoker, we want you to quit smoking. And there are sometimes um, diet modifications you can make. You can try to stop eating things like chocolate, caffeine. Those things tend to lower this tone of the esophagus and allow stomach contents to wash into the esophagus more frequently. And if those lifestyle modifications don't work, then you can talk to your doctor about adding a medication that increases the pH of the stomach contents.